Before we begin, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, so Microsoft's Xbox chief, Phil Spencer, just said a lot of really interesting things about Microsoft's gaming business. Spencer appeared at the Wall Street Journal's live conference this week, and he started off by talking about the future of Call of Duty if Microsoft's Activision deal closes. Our plan is that Call of Duty specifically would be available um, on PlayStation is what you're asking about. But when I think about our plans, I'd love to see it on the Switch. I would love to see uh, I'd love to see the game playable on, on many different screens. Now, Call of Duty has been an intense source of debate between Microsoft, Sony and regulators. And Spencer says the franchise will continue to ship on PlayStation natively. And there's no bait and switch going on here. So the game isn't going to get pulled in two to three years. Ultimately, Microsoft sees Call of Duty as more like Minecraft. Like our intent is to treat Call of Duty very similar to the way we've treated Minecraft and putting it in many different places. Because at this point, those are franchises that have reached broad global awareness. And I think more people should be able to play. Next up, Microsoft said earlier this year that it had no plans to increase Xbox console prices. But now Spencer has started dropping hints that some price increases to Xbox consoles or the Xbox Game Pass subscription might be on the way after the holidays. For us running the business, you know, we have to look at the return on our business, the cost of the business. We've held price on our console. We've held price on games for us and our subscription. Now, I don't think we'll be able to do that forever. I do think at some point we'll have to raise some prices on certain things. Um, but going into this holiday, we thought it was really important that we maintain the prices that we have um, because we think, as you said, consumers right now are more uncertain than they have been in a long time. And I want our medium of video games to be something that they find attractive. Xbox Game Pass is still a great deal right now, but it's reasonable to assume that the cost of the service will increase at some point, especially as Microsoft has started to see a slowdown in Xbox Game Pass growth on console. We're seeing incredible growth on PC. I think Satya in our earnings, Satya Nadella, in our earnings yesterday, the CEO of Microsoft talked about, I think, 130, 140% year over year growth on PC, which is really where we're focused. On console, I've seen growth slow down on Game Pass, mainly because at some point you've just reached everybody on console who wants to subscribe. Um, and we don't see subscription, unlike some other forms of media that have really moved almost solely to a subscription business. Today, Game Pass as an overall part of our content and service revenue. It's probably 15%. I don't think it gets bigger than that. I think the overall revenue grows, so 15% of a bigger number is a bigger number. But we don't have this future where I think 50, 60, 70% of our revenue comes from subscriptions. So it doesn't sound like Xbox Game Pass is going to dominate Microsoft's gaming revenues anytime soon. But it sure seems like Microsoft will focus more on PC Game Pass in the future, as there's a lot of growth potential there. Spencer is also making a bet on building an Xbox mobile game store, but that will require regulators to step in and push Apple to open up its iOS platform to allow for rival app stores. That reality still seems a little bit far off, even if Microsoft, Epic and others are pushing for it. Another thing that feels really a long ways off is the metaverse. Meta, also known as Facebook, has been spending billions to build this dream of the future of work and gaming. But Microsoft's Xbox chief isn't as impressed with the metaverse right now. It's a, a poorly built video game. I mean, the man has got a point here. I remember trying the first Oculus Rift at CES 2013 and it blew me away. 10 years later and the hardware and the software has improved, but we're still at the VR headsets are coming stage. I can't help but think that people will be saying the same thing in 10 years time. As for what else is next and coming in the next 10 years, the Xbox streaming console known as Keystone is still years away, according to Spencer. So there was a, a picture that went out, which was uh, Keystone, he said was the code name of something that we were incubating internally, which was think of it as a streaming console. So there's no local gameplay low cost, plug it into a television, and you'd be able to stream to the television, the video game, the Xbox games that are available. We instead, back kind of the uh, late spring, pivoted to working with Samsung. Um, we put an app on Samsung TVs that let you play Xbox games. Um, and I still have the prototype. It sits on the shelf behind my, my, my computer. So there was a picture that went out of that device giving people choice, whether they want to play on that tablet, whether they want to play on their smart TV, they want to play on an Xbox, mm -hmm. they want to play on a PC. Uh, we think that's that's really critical to where we're going. Um, it's, will we do a streaming device at some point? 
I suspect we will, but I think it's it's years away. And even in our consoles today, we have two consoles in the market. Again, giving people choice about one's two ninety nine, one's four ninety nine. Um, giving people choice on like how much money they want to spend to go play and what device is right for them. So it sure looks like the future of Xbox hardware, for the next few years at least, is still very much Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. I think everything that Spencer discussed at the Wall Street Journal Live was a rare insight into Microsoft's Xbox business. The plans for a mobile Xbox game store to take on Apple and Google are likely years away, and Microsoft still has an Activision deal to try and complete before it gets a foot in the mobile gaming door. But Microsoft's strategy is even clearer as it seeks to take Xbox beyond just console and onto phones, TVs, even VR headsets, and perhaps devices that don't even exist yet. The future of Xbox sure is fascinating.